It's never too late to turn to God. No matter how far you've fallen away from God, no matter how big you failed, it's never too late to humble yourself and depend on God. If you've been given a second chance, take it. My story starts out on April 19, 2000. I was born to Jay Kinslow and Brooke Frost, and at that moment they were lost on how to raise me, because they were just kids themselves. Until I was 10, I didn't really see my dad a lot. I guess he was still getting used to the fact that he had a son to take care of. I don't blame him. My mom was there every step of the way, though, no matter how hard it got for her. Let's just say I was a hard baby to take care of. In 2001, she met Kenny Sanders, one of the best stepfathers a kid could ask for. With both of their support and power, they both kept me in sports. Then in 2013, my father did something special and found the right girl, Christy Breeding. I didn't know when he married her that she was going to become a second mom to me and help me like she does. Down further, I made my first high school decision, and I chose Louisville Mill High School. Honestly, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, so I transferred after the first year and made the best decision ever, Butler Traditional High School. The next few years were the best years ever, and then senior year hit, and I knew it was strictly business. We reached the playoffs and did something that hadn't been done in a long time at the school, and that was beat mill. It felt so good to beat a school that I used to play for. Then after football season, something hit me. I didn't know what it was. It hit me on December 20th while I was going to get my hair cut. I had the worst anxiety attack I've ever felt in my life. I went to the doctor a million times trying to figure out what was wrong, and each time they said it was high-functioning anxiety. Down the road, it developed into depression. I think most of it was because I couldn't find a college that fit me the best. Then one sunny day in March, it changed my life. I went to a combine and got recruited by Camelsville University. I knew from there where I was going to college. Now that I made my college choice, I felt as if my anxiety and depression would go away, but it didn't. I had to make appointments to meet with a counselor, and now she has me working every day to get better. I know it'll get better because of the people that I have in my corner, my mom, my sister, and two new baby brothers and sisters, and my girlfriend. She does everything she can to help me day in and day out. When I noticed that everything was getting better was in the last weeks of March, when I started going to the track with my father. Then he took me to the back side to one of his good friends, Brad Cox. And the atmosphere when being around the horses just made me happy and not panic every minute. He helped me figure out what kind of career I wanted to do also, and it was definitely in horses. If you ever feel like this, it's never too late to turn to God. No matter how far you've fallen away from God, no matter how big you failed, it's never too late to humble yourself and depend on God. If you ever get a second chance, take it.